Okay, my, my name is Lucas Ontiveros. I'm originally from Ventura, California, but now I live in uh, Forest, Virginia for like the past three and a half years. And uh, I got involved with stem cell therapy because of a reaction that I had to some medication to treat high blood sugar about, I'm trying to think, is it at the end of 2020? And it put me into ketoacidosis, which is actually can be fatal. And it, uh, of course I survived, but it left me with horrific systemic nerve damage that as time went on, just kept spreading and spreading. So whatever happened during that process, it basically like cooked my body. And so I literally had neuropathy from head to toe and very severe in the feet and legs and uh the doctors uh i was in california at that time for about a year after the the incident with the uh, ketoacidosis and all that and the doctors there were just basically kept telling me there's not really a whole lot you can do for nerves this is what i heard time and time again trying to look for a solution they told me they said there's no silver bullet for uh, nerve damage which is not true as I found out. So I kept searching for an answer, didn't find anything. And um, after about a year of just suffering and pain, like it got so bad I couldn't like sleep with a blanket on me. I mean, it was, it was just unbelievable. You just can't believe that your life turned into that. And um, so I kept, I kept searching and uh, couldn't really find a whole lot that would uh, help, tried different medicines, tried some kind of like therapy to try to help the nerve damage in the legs that they said pretty much helps everyone, but it never helped me. The nerve damage just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And um, I came across a video on YouTube of stem cells helping somebody that had a reaction to an antibiotic that caused nerve damage through the body. And I thought, you know, it's, it's, it's nerve damage happening in a different way, but maybe it would help me. So I called the place, it was a place in Columbia, and I asked them about it and they said, yeah, it would probably do you a lot of good. And I thought, you know, if I can just get some relief, uh, that would be good. And at that time I had been put on hospice because I started vomiting blood because, and I couldn't eat. I lost probably about like 50 pounds in a very short amount of time. Could barely drink anything, like it was pretty bad. And they kept saying, well, we can, you know, give you like a stump, like a feeding tube and stuff to keep you alive. And no one wants to stay alive like that because there's no quality of life. So, I mean, of course I want to live if I have some quality of life, but there was nothing. But anyway, I found this video and so I called the place, I, I called them and they said it would probably do you a lot of good. Like some people have recovered like almost like completely from it. And it can take more than one treatment as I found out. But so I went to Columbia. I had to wait for several months because there's you know a lot of people that want to do it. And after about two weeks of uh, getting the first stem cells, they gave me an IV and then they just shot me different places on the body full of stem cells because the, the neuropathy was everywhere. After about less than two weeks or so, the temperature in my hands had returned to normal. And that was like the first thing that I felt getting better. So I knew that the stem cells were for real. And it was like watching a miracle happen in your own body and something you had been praying for for a long time. Just, you know, send something, send help and just praying and it came. And so I was able to cut way down on my medicine. At my highest, I was using a 50 microgram fentanyl patch that I put on my back and replace every three days. I was taking 48 milliliters of dilaudid or hydromorphone, like the strongest pain medicine there is. I think it's like seven times stronger than morphine. And six milligrams of lorazepam, which is a benzodiazepine. And combining those things together, plus at the high dosages, it should have killed me, but I mean, of course it didn't. 
luckily, and I was getting better. And I cut down, I started cutting down on the medicine. And I thought I was pretty much healed after that one treatment, but um, I started getting feeling some pain back again. So I thought, I, thought I, I need some more, but I don't want to wait as long as it did to go to Colombia. So I found a clinic in, in Mexico that had a good reputation. So I went there and did a whole bunch more. They put them intrathecally into this, the spinal fluid and all that kind of stuff, which helped me with like withdrawing from the medicine because it goes to the brain. So they basically hit me like with every spot they, they could in my body to help this nerve damage, which helped a lot. And I was able to get off um, the fentanyl at that point. I cut way down on the benzodiazepine, cut way down on the dilated. I was still taking some because something you have to wean off of very slowly. And, um, but I still had pain like from the knees down, not too bad in the lower legs, but pretty severe in the feet. I mean, I could walk a lot better than I used to. I was actually in a wheelchair at one point. Like you don't think your life's ever gonna get to that point from like reaction to, a, to medicine, but it can. And I've seen that happen to other people taking like uh, different antibiotics and stuff like that. But the stem cells help a lot, but I couldn't find a way to get rid of that, those last spots below the knees and the feet were still pretty bad. So I went to Columbia again and I tried that again. It didn't do a whole lot of good. It helped a little. And I just thought, I know the stem cells work. I just need to find a clinic that understands neuropathy really, really well. And a doctor who understands it like, like that's especially. And I was just uh, going through videos once again uh, on YouTube and I came across the ones through this clinic and I thought, wow, this is in the USA. I don't even have to draw outside the country. So I, um, uh, looked into it and it, it looked pretty good. And I saw that Dr. Jacoby helps, uh, with the treatments on severe neuropathy. And I thought that's me. And I know the stem cells work. It's just, it needs something. So, um, his technique of nerve decompression kind of like how they decompress the, the nerves like for carpal tunnel. It's it's pretty much the same thing in the legs and feet. And so I came at the middle of uh, last August and he did the treatment. And uh, they they did it in my the ulnar nerve in my arms because I still had a little neuropathy in my hands. That's pretty much all cleared up. He checked me uh, yesterday. He said there's no nerve compressions anymore. The ulnar nerve, the rest of that will just come back with time. And he checked the, the legs, that nerve compression is gone. He said, that'll just keep healing. There was still a little bit left in the feed. So he retreated that. He said, you know, we might have to kind of touch that up, but it's, it's been like a miracle. I mean, I still get pain sometimes, but the amazing thing is, is that I've been able to wean off of all painkillers and the benzodiazepine. So all I take now is a muscle relaxer, like once or twice a day, just to kind of help relax the muscles. Cause sometimes they still spasm a little bit. And then as they're healing, they're getting more active as they wake up. And, um, it's just been a life changing experience. And this is the fifth treatment that I've had. The second one I've had at this clinic, but it, each one that I do, it becomes like less extensive because I've gotten so much better. And I've had people ask, well, if it works so well, why do you have to do so many treatments? So I said, you know, it works really well, but it's, it was systemic neuropathy and not just that it, it affected other things that affected the heart. It, it affected so many things. And when they do the IV stem cells, it does, it doesn't just go to your areas of, of like pain. It's finding inflammation all through your body. You know, it goes to the heart and lungs first and there was a lot of damage in there. So it's fixing that. And um, the heart is great. Everything is good. The blood work is normal. My A1C is normal. It's 5.1 with no medication. I was injecting insulin at one point. The pancreas was dying. It was just a mess. I mean, I was, they said I was like a 1.5 diabetic, which is kind of a weird thing, but it's like, they said it was like partial, like autoimmune that was 
uh, started this whole thing. And a lot of autoimmune diseases do run in my mom's side of the family, so I wasn't too surprised at that, but I've put it into remission or cured it or whatever you want to say, because uh, the last time they took my A1C with, with no medication, I haven't been taking any diabetic medication for the past, it's been almost three years. And I was injecting insulin and they're like, once you start that, the chances of stopping it, it really doesn't happen. Well, it, it did. The pancreas regenerated. I know that was through diet and the stem cells did a lot of that too. And it's just been a real life changing um, events, having all of these stem cells. But I, but I definitely highly recommend coming here because um, stem cells work, but you also, for certain um, ailments or whatever, the, the neuropathy like that was real bad in the legs and feet, it needed like a certain technique with the hydrodice section plus the stem cells. And it's just changed my life. Before I couldn't walk up, um, couldn't walk up the stairs normally. I would like walk, take a step um, with my right leg going up the stair and then like drag my left leg, which was my worst leg. And then kind of like that, right? And then drag the left and holding onto the stairs, kind of pulling myself up. After about maybe a month, month and a half or so after the treatment in August, I just, without even thinking about it, I just started climbing the stairs normally. And I was like, whoa, I can just take, you know, right, left, right, left. It was in my strength had come back a lot in the legs. Um, I wasn't using the handrails. It actually got to where I was carrying stuff going up the stairs in a very short amount of time. My dad saw how much better I was getting and he's had like a failed back surgery. His knees are going bad. Well, he's 81 and he's had, you know, some little surgeries and stuff like that, which is basically they're taking stuff out. Whereas the stem cell is healing you and regrowing it. And they were talking about doing like a knee replacement. And after having like a failed back surgery, it's like no more surgeries, no more surgeries. You know, I don't think I would really recover very well. He's 80, he's 81. He doesn't want to do that. And then he's, and then he had like a foot reconstruction. So there's a lot of stuff going on. So he, he came with me in August and he, he got some relief from it. The feet have gotten a lot better. You know, the knees do take the time to regrow that cartilage and he can stand longer doing uh, with like his back and stuff like that. So they're working on that again. And he said that just from the treatment yesterday, once again on the feet, it already feels better today. Going to your doctor is great for like regular things, but if it's something that's pretty extraordinary, you don't always get a lot of good answers. And I'm not trying to like put anybody down or anything like that. Just want people to be well and know that there's other alternatives. So that's that's been my experience. And I'm a believer in it, you know, 200 percent. And uh, I recommend it to to anybody. And a lot of people are kind of uh, they think like, oh, well, it worked good for you, but I'm too scared to try something like that. And I thought there's there's nothing to to lose in doing it. Only the pain, only the ailments that you have. That's the only thing you lose is the bad stuff. And it works for most people. Some get exceptional results and some get good results, but it works really well for most people. And that's been my, uh, that's been my experience. It's just been, it's been a long journey, basically like normalcy with health and all that. I've had to withdraw myself a lot of, uh, from a lot of the painkillers, but the fact that I could do that shows how much that I've healed. So I would recommend this to, to everybody. And I would recommend coming to this facility in, uh, Scottsdale at the Innate Healthcare Institute. It's 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 life changing experience.